Hello and welcome back for Season 2 of our Relegation Regen Rebuild Series with FC Bayern Munich. A great end to the last season. Sees us straight back up into the Bundesliga with a lot of work to do. Uh, it, this is going to be a tough season. I can just feel it. Our team is not ready to take on the likes of, you know, Wolfsburg, Schalke, Borussia Dortmund. But uh, we're going to throw everything we have out of Toure and the transfer window is open. So we'll be out there looking for new regens and uh, maybe some of those rookie players from our youth academy will make their way into the side. Let's just get into this one. It's going to be a bumper episode probably of trades and uh, that kind of thing. And I'll try and slip a few games in as well. So let's get into this one. All right, so they weren't too happy with our domestic cup performance last season. Let's hope we can turn that around. But they did say it was an amazing season for us. They wrote us off. They said, don't finish in the bottom half of the table, basically. And we went through and got promoted. So we're doing everything that is wanted of the board. And uh, Kooten well, will probably be getting headhunted by other clubs, you'd assume. The league objective this season is to avoid relegation. So uh, that's pretty decent. I think we can, we can do that fairly comfortably. We've got a pretty good young side coming through. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we're not sitting at the bottom of the table come the end of this season. Season's budget, well, you knew it was going to be a shitload. We've got 81 million euro and 400 grand in, in wages. This uh, Saudi chic prince, whoever he is, is just dumping money into the club now that we're back in the Bundesliga and uh, hopefully getting us into Champions League contention. Our domestic cup objective is just to get into the round of 32. So let's hope we can go a bit further this season. Well, we've got a youth scout report here from Cameroon. And uh, Hamadou is 45 to 57, 73 to 93, defensively minded 17-year-old. Uh, I'm going to give these lads another month. You know, we've got quality players coming through from our five-star uh, scouts. So we need to be really picky with who we actually sign up. Uh, Emmanuel Oshibe, 17 overall, 48 to 60 overall, 77 to 94 is probably someone that I definitely would normally bring in, but I'm going to give him another month as well. Uh, Asugo can go, uh, Ajuku can go, uh, Mayoyo will hold on to for now, and same with Awusu. All right, Ghana's got us a do, an 89 will scout further, a bus will scout further, Prince Titi can be rejected. And uh, Choir can uh, be scouted further. We missed out on Sembene. But, you know, the calibre of players we've got coming through, I'm not too worried if we miss out on a couple. And Ben McGeegan here in Bolivia has an 89. will continue to scout a 73 to 94. And Benjamin Luna has been scouted for two months. I'm going to give him another one. I just want to, just really want to concentrate and see what those final stats are. Uh, Badeo can go. Uh, Pachacho can go. Jose Enrique will continue to scout 65 pass and 69 no thanks. So the Youth Academy looks like this at the moment. We've got a couple of spaces free. So we'll just see what we've got here. I do want to, you know, leave some spots open for transfers as well. El Sharani's are 92. Christensen, 87. Apriaso looking very decent, 82 to 94. Uh, Carrerio, 80 to 94. Hal Gal, we were going to promote. 66 overall, 91 to 94. I might just leave him there. Uh, until he's ready to come up. Jeremy Jackson, 88. Simbene, 88. Uh, Makowicz, 82 to 94. Gerardo, 72 to 92. And Voviak, 77 to 91. He's ready to come in at 59 overall. So we're going to offer him the first contract of the season. All right, preseason tournament time. It's not like we need the money, but it's be some good experience for the young lads to get out there and do the job. And Daniel Kooten's from Austria, so we're going to go to his home country and uh, take on the European Continental Shield. Our right, first game here is against St. Pauli in the European Continental Shield. And uh, pretty much the reserve team's gone out. Toure's slotting in there for Joel as he was on a red card. Klunta got himself a penalty. Toure slots one in and we win 3-1. All right, game number two is a rival derby and uh, against AD Sisti Munich. And uh, we've sent the full strength team out. Let's see what happens. It's a one nil win, Dewey Tian with the goal. Third game is against SK Rapid. And it's a 1-0 victory. Brocky with the goal. All right, we've got a transfer offer for Kiri Porter. Uh, he's not really looking like anything that we're going to want to hold on to. Uh, so 120 grand. If we can get his valuation, we will send him on his way to Galway United. 800 grand into the kitty. Semi-final against Vercelli. And uh, the reserves are going to go out here. And we lose 3-4 on penalties. Uh. All right, Galway United are going to match the 150. So Kiri Porter will be leaving the club. And we picked up a million for losing the semi-final. All right, so Kiri Porter's made his way out of the club. He's off to Ireland to play for Galway United. Thanks for your services, Mr. Porter. Uh, but you weren't just going to cut it here. All right, so we've got the final U-Scout report here from Bolivia. And 85, we're going to reject. 77 to 94, Benjamin Luna. We've scouted him for three months. He needs to come in. 79, reject. 87, reject. 72 to 94, Fran Martinez. Uh, no, I'm not going to accept him. Uh, Jose Enrique can go as well. And Pedro Ramirez. Um, 
No, I'm gonna pass. All right, Ghana, 89, we're gonna reject. 73 to 94, Abraham as you go. Uh, he's got some pretty decent stats there. We've only scouted him for a month though. And uh, let's see what else we've got here. Angel May can go, uh, I do can go, Dele can go. A bass looks pretty decent. 52 to 66 overall, 72 to 92. This is the kind of kid I'm going to sign up because he's already got that high overall. Uh, Zugo, well, he could make the cut. Oh, we'll take a gamble if we've got room. Yes, we do. And we've got Cameroon here. Now, Hamadou, 46 to 56 at 17. Probably not what we're really looking for um, at a right back spot. Ashibe, oh, he's got a low overall as well. Aduma can go. Oh, yes. Joshua Friday. See, 52 to 70. This is the kind of kid you want. Uh, 78 reject. A 70-94. Kwa Angermain. Um, six foot three. So he's got a bit of height behind him. He could be good. What else? Oh, yes. Michael Nah can come in. Look at that overall. Uh, 74 reject. 84. No. No. All right. So do we take a gamble on any of these kids? That is the next question. We do need some midfielders and front players. So I'm going to have a gamble here on Angermain. Um, but the other two lads... I'm going to pass on. A one-year loan offer for Tom Doyle. Uh, we're going to accept that. Let him go off there. All right, we've got a two-year loan offer for Julian Farfan. He's only just come back from loan. He is growing, but I just can't see him getting any first-team football. So we'll send him off to Stevenage for a few years and see if he grows into something. If not, we'll get him back and sell him off. All right, let's have a look at our youth academy once again. Isugo, 71 to 91. Sharane, 92. Luna's a 90. Christensen, 87. Uh, Aprecio is just about ready to come through, I think. Carrera, 89. Hal Gao is definitely ready for a gig, but I'm just going to leave him there until he asks for it. Uh, Afrani, 58 overall, 85 to 94, looking to goods. Jackson, down to an 87. Angermain, 57 overall, 76 to 94, which is nice. Mohamed Naz, a 60 overall, 84 to 94, only 5 foot 1. He needs to grow. Uh, Abbas, 50, 77, uh, 72 to 88. Simbene, 82 to 88. Makowicz, 82 to 94. And Gerardo, 71 to 87. I'm actually going to release Gerardo. Um, Simbene, we're going to release. We need to free up some spots because big kids are starting to come through this team. Uh, Abbas, I'm not happy with. He can go. And uh, Jackson, he looks all right because he's got some pretty decent greens there. Technically gifted. Midfielders we sort of need to hold on for at the moment. Um, Christensen's just got a great name, so we'll hold on to him as well. All right. Right, time to send our scouts out, and uh, the list is forever growing. It's quite a large, decent pile going on here now. So, uh, you know, we probably won't get through all of them, but keep sending them in because yours might sit at the top after I spin them all around and we'll head to the country that you want to see. So the first one we're going to with Dominic Gunter is this one right here, and it is Austria for a defensively-minded player. Okay, let's go. Austria. Um, smack bang in the middle here. Austria for a defensively minded player. All right, Oliver Nuri, where are you heading off to today? Let's find somewhere good. Hopefully, we get something tasty from the pot. And it is this one here. And we're going back to Canada. The Canadians love this shit. We're going for a physically strong player, so that should help us out. Uh, let's go off to Canada for a physically strong player. And finally, Ben McGeegan, where are you heading off to? Ah, oh, give it a good shake around. And I really want to take this one that's right in my fingers right now. And it is... Oh, yes, Germany. That's what we want. Any player from Germany. Um, we don't want to recall the scout. We want to go off to Germany. Germany, Germany. Building a nice youth academy from Germany. All right, so this will be our first signing for the season. It is Jason Taylor. Now, I believe this is the Frank Lampard regen um, playing in the U USA League. Uh, 68 overall at 19. I did find him last year, but I just wanted to let him go through a season and maybe get a bit of a, uh, a May bump as the CPU does. Uh, he wants 15. We don't really care about money here at the moment. This is just ridiculous how much cash we're getting offered. Uh, we'll offer him an important first team role. and uh, I'm, I, He can play camp, and I think that might help us out in the big leagues. So Jason Taylor's accepted his contract. We managed to offload one of those no-face players as well. That's half the reason why I did this transfer. So welcome to the club, Jason Taylor. All right, time for the first game in our Bundesliga. Oh, this is it. This is it. Back to the Bundesliga for Bayern Munich. It was only one season that they were relegated for, but we get them back straight up, and here we go in Season 2. Just the one signing so far in Jason Taylor. He's going to start today in the cam roll. Uh, he's got number 8 on the back. 
Uh, Porovic is coming in as the new starting centre back. He takes over from Scaramazzino. He's been upgraded uh, in number for the season to, I believe, number five. I think we went with. And uh, Duitiana is going to play out on the right wing today as Lolo has a red card. I can't remember what that was for, but yeah, he doesn't get to play in the season opener. Uh, Duitiana should be fairly serviceable out there. He knows what we're doing. Here's our starting lineup. Kirschbaum, Atusa, Porovic, Amini, Meredith, Samprisi, and Bolangoli in the midfield. Strafler, Jason Taylor, the new acquisition. Duitiana on the right. And the hack attack up front. Let's see if we can start our campaign off here. Three points at home. We really want the Allianz Arena to be a fortress for us this season. Um, we'll just have to do our best, sit back, defend, and try and punch through when we can. But uh, Frankfurt, well, we've played these lads before. I'm pretty sure they just came up with us. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get through and get three points on the board. Let's see if Ture can start his season off with a bang. Big early challenge for Porovic. Gives away a free kick inside six minutes for Frankfurt. And what are they going to do? They're going to have a ping at this. Looks like they are. Oh, straight over Amini, past Kirschbaumer. And they take first blood here at the Allianz. Well, a clinical free kick there. The step over and the banging at home. Amini probably not tall enough to be sitting on the back line. And Kirschbaumer, well, didn't react quick enough. That was an absolute rocket to the top corner. And game over. Early, is it? We will soon find out. Quality free kick. We're 1-0 down. Corner for Frankfurt. We are under siege here in the opening minutes of this game. And the lads really need to wake up. It's not going to be as easy as it was in the Bundesliga 2. Does well. Sees the run. It's the skipper. It's Streifler. Oh, and a good save from the keeper. Oh, no. They're through again. And miss. Jesus. We are absolutely under the pump here from Frankfurt. Welcome to the Bundesliga, they reckon. And Sam Preece. Oh, look at this. Toure. Abdulhak Toure. Oh, come on. Give the lad a goal. Half time. 1 0 down. Unlucky. Are you serious? Fuck me. What the fuck was that, boys? Oh, man. Just give him an easy goal, Kirschbaumer. Fucking welcome to the Bundesliga, you fuck nut. Fuck me. Ball and goalie with a good challenge, but it falls straight back to him. And Porovic has just let him. And Kirschbaumer. What the hell was that, Kirschbaumer? Oh, look, it's going over my head. Oh, I didn't even see it, boys. What's going on, man? Oh, and as soon as Pistler's ready, well, I think he might be coming straight in. Kirsch did a great job for us last season, but that was disgusting. And now we're 2-0 down. Toussaint slips it inside. Sam Parisi has to right. Can he do something crazy here? Abdulhak Toure. Oh, Strafler, get out of his way, you fucking nugget. Strafler did well. Feeds it forward. Here's the hack attack. Can he sort something out? No, he gets picked off. It's fallen to Strafler, though. Here's Strafler. Oh, lad. There's Bolingoli. Slips it off. Guzo. Flying through Guzo. Oh, come on. Finish your dinner, son. Dutiard to Joel. Feeds it forward. Here's Toure. We're looking for some magic. Oh, ref. There we go. Fucking buys us a penalty. Abdulhak Toure from the spot. All right, Strafler's off the ground. So Toure is going to be taking it to maybe start his first goal for the season. Here we go. And he smacks it home. Starts his campaign off from the spot. He earned the penalty. We let him take it. And it's 2-1 with about 10 minutes remaining. It wasn't the most convincing penalty, but he smacks it home. Keep it in move. 2-1. And that is our first goal for the season. Free kick for Bayern Munich. It's the dying stages of this game. He feeds it off quickly to Bolangoli. Can we create an opening here? He fires it off to Guzo. Guzo quickly off. It's the right back in Tussard. He's going to look to pump it off. He finds Porovic. Oh, what the hell was that, Porovic? It was very, very poor. That's what it was. It's Joel. Back to Guzo. Takes the shot. Oh, save from the keeper. Oh, we lose our opening game of the season 2-1 to Frankfurt. A disappointing effort. And we've got a bit of work to do this season, I feel. Eight shots to seven. We're definitely in the game. We just really couldn't get forward enough to get a clean shot off. Toure with a 7.4. All right, here's an interesting one. We've got a transfer offer for Lukovic Miguel. 
Now, uh, he has been average. Every time he plays for us, he does have a very high potential, and he's probably our best left back. Uh, but we have been playing Meredith there, who's been doing a really outstanding job for us. They've come in at 1.8. So um, let's just play with the big boys here. Let's go 2.5 and see if they're willing to cough up that kind of money. Money's not really an object for us, but uh, you know what? I want to free up the spots if possible. All right, we'll give you another game here and uh, see if we can finish this one off with a bang. We've got Hoffenheim. We're hosting them. And, uh, well, a pretty dismal effort there in the first game of the season. Hopefully we can turn that around in this one. I'm starting to do it here. I'm back in the camera roll. Let's just go back. Lolo's back into the team. So we'll just go with the team that worked for us last season and uh, see if we can get three points on the board. We don't want to fall away too quickly. And let's hope that we can just get out here and uh, do the job. It's a corner for Bayern Munich. And, uh, well, let's see what we can do here. We haven't really had a, a really good look at it. Here's Strafler, though, who takes a banger. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Fuck me. Wow, what a bullet from Strafler. Oh, hotter on the volley. It dipped late, hit the crossbar. And it's Toure, moving in. Does well. Abdul Hak Toure, oh, come on. Corner for Hoffenheim, only 15 minutes remaining in the game and really struggling to find any movement forward. Come on, lads. Offside. Offside. Fuck me. Oh, full time at nil all. We fucking toiled hard, but we just could not get in there to break anyone down. And <sighs> We need some cavalry in this team. Quick smart. Five shots to four. Pretty boring one. Porovic with a 7.5. Right, so that's where we're going to leave that one. There's only a few days left of the transfer window, but there is another game here uh, to play against Stuttgart. Uh, but this this episode's just going to probably run on a little bit too long. We're sitting in 13th, still yet to get that win on the board, and Turin the only scorer for us uh, from the spot. So uh, it's going to be a long season. I know this one's going to be tough. I always knew it was going to be. I didn't think we'd get off to this bad a start after the two games. So hopefully we find some form. Uh, the players start to gel and uh, maybe we can sneak a couple of players in. The players I have been looking at, the new regens, have obviously only just signed contracts with their new teams. Uh, so we will have to wait until the uh, the winter transfer window for those players. Uh, there are some very tasty ones out there, but I'm going to leave them hidden uh, until we're going to actually sign them up. Uh, I may sign a striker moving forward just to help Toure out. There is um, uh, the... Who is it? There's the closer region who's playing for in uh, the Italian league, and there's also um, Robbie Keane's region. They're both out there. I could possibly bring them in. I'll I'll think about it moving into the next episode, and uh, I may make a decision just to bring one of those in just to help us out a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna leave this one. Hopefully you're enjoying it. We're into season two and a big challenge ahead of us. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Spiron DK. It's five o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. He's done well, Billy. He's done well, Billy. Billy fucking not. Two one, Peterborough. Get in, lad. Oh, we brought him in over the fucking.